Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. The more honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and all well, and they bring word and doctrine. Shalom and peace. May not be to the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, quick hit from Acts chapter 5, verse 38 and 39. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel be, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Messiah, ye cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against the Messiah. So you've got these Christian movements that are trying to counteract, trying to subvert whole houses. Right, turn around people from the way of the truth based on their you know confusion their belief system pertaining to what they believe the gospel to be G thirty-three forty-four Metastrefo Metastrefo Thayer's lexicon related entry Metatrepo Metatrepo Let's turn around, turn around, turn twice to the one Meta meaning with after behind Strefo means turn around, turn around, turn himself, i.e. turn to turn the back to one. Like turning your back on the Lord. Not that a lot of these people have had the Lord. They turn to take others to do that. By perverting the gospel and turning it around. Therefore if someone else takes it on, you know, and they've found the truth and they're turning away from the truth away from the Lord. As one who no longer cares for another, you know, if you go back into the world, you no longer care for the truth. That's why to turn oneself from one's course of conduct, I was turned in one's mind. That's why to repent. And that would be what repentance would do. Turn to the Lord. Strong's G, 2098, Euangelion, Euangelion. Euangelion, a reward for good tidings, good tidings. The glad tidings of the kingdom of the Mosai seem to be set up, and subsequently also of Yahushai, Hamashiach, the founder of this kingdom, after the death of Hamashiach. The term comprises also the preaching of concerning Yahushai Hamashiach as having suffered death on the cross to procure eternal salvation for the men in the kingdom of the Most High. Now look, in that definition they didn't go off at all. Right, because if they had to put for all men, that's not that's not incorrect. But all men in the kingdom, you know, of course. And that men there, that includes women. Right, you have the same mankind. It says, but as restored to life and exalted to the right hand of the Messiah in heaven, thence to return in majesty to consummate the kingdom, the kingdom of the Messiah. Right, none of that was was incorrect there. So the glad tidings of salvation through Hamashiach, the proclamation of the grace of the Messiah manifest and pledged in Hamashiach, the gospel, 
as a messianic rank of Yahushai was proved by his words, his deeds, and his death. The narrative of the saints, deeds, and death of Yahushai Hamashiach came to be called the Gospel of Latinum. Now we'll just go quickly. Gospel 46, Gospel of Mashiach. 11, Gospel of Most High. 7, Gospel of the Kingdom. 3 times, Miscellaneous 10. Now, let me read verse 8. Though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So when you understand what Yahweh Shai referenced in Luke 4, when he said, This day is fulfilled in your ears, he read an excerpt of Isaiah 61. Now he only read a portion of it and then said, That's fulfilled. So what does that mean? The rest of it is yet to come to pass. So Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me, because Yahweh hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Right, and that word is Bashar, which means to bear news, bear tidings, publish, preach, show forth, to gladden with good news, to bear news, to announce salvation as good news, preach, to receive good news. So what's the good news? We had the good news to the Israelites, chiefly the elect of the nation of Israel, is that we're going to have our own rulership. Right, you're not going to be last place in this man's system forever. Okay, there will be a, a new kingdom, as it's written, a new heaven and a new earth. Right, this is the good tidings. We'll be saved from captivity from this adversary, but primarily from the adversary that is our flesh. Right, which causes us to walk in a way that is sinful, a way of transgression of the Heavenly Father's law. As it's written, for sin is the transgression of the law. It's also written that the wages of sin is death. Is that if you go into clock, you clock into your job, you work an hour, hopefully you worked a bit longer, but you say you work one hour and then you get your hourly rate, you get your wages of your job. Or you do some sin, you know, you clock into sin, you do you do your sin for however long, and you'll get your wages. You might not get it straight away, but you will get your wages. So we're getting changed out of that form. As it's written, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So this is the the primary good news of coming out of this flesh. So let's read. To preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. That's why it talks about, well, we're prisoners of hope, we're prisoners of Yahweh Shai. And we're bound in these, it by, when someone goes into slavery, when someone gets bound up, or they, they're tied up, it's either by rope, historically, and when you go into the specific oppression of us in the captivity in the in the you know in the physical captivity slavery to another nation, we were bound up in chains. Now our spirit is bound up in chains of darkness, which of course represents this flesh. So again that's the chief thing we're gonna be bound from. Because we're gonna have new bodies. Alright, this is part of the gospel. The good news. These are the promises that the Heavenly Father made. So you're seeing these things stir, stirring up on the earth. You're seeing Wallet more, you know, publications, adverts being pushed, the Kharagma being pushed out in the mainstream media more. And they might say a, a couple of bad things. And then they say, but don't worry, because you've got this. You know, so they present they present what the problem may be, and then they solve it. You know, that's that's a that's a written device to persuade. You're seeing uproars among the people. You're seeing threats to fuel, threats to feud, sorry, feud. Well, there's defo, there's no threats to feud, but there's threats of feud. But there's threats to the food security. You know, all these things are happening. Because the Lord's bringing the end. As it's written, for the vision is yet for the 
an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Alright, so we're at the end. We're in the beginning of sorrows. And that's why all these pestilences, wars, rumors of wars, plagues coming upon the earth. Because the Lord's put a the Lord's turning up. Say it like that. Isaiah 61 and 2 To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of Yahweh that he might be glorified so it says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. What is Zion? It's a representation of the Israelites. Let's look at this word, Taziah 1. It says parched place, another name for Jerusalem. Right, especially especially in the prophetic books. Now let's let's search up Jerusalem. Zechariah 1 and 19 It says and I, asked, and, I said, and I said unto the angel that talked to me What be these? And he answered me These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel and Jerusalem Now Judah goes back to the Hebrew word Yahawada Right? Which goes back to the root of praise You know that's why when Judah was born Judah's mother said what? Well, yeah, that's your homework. What what did Judah's mum say? Israel, meaning Yasharala, which has a root of him, you know, the two root words there would be prince and power or God. You know, because when when Israel when when Israel was changed from Jacob into Israel, you know, what happened? That's part two of the homework, the assignment. And then Jerusalem, Yara Shalam, Yara, the root word they've been sitting, Shalam being Shalawam, peace, said in modern Hebrew, Shalom, right, Jerusalem, the city of peace. Now, how do you scatter a city? You know, you, you, you scatter the inhabitants. This is Second Maccabees 5.19 Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. Alright, so Israel, Jerusalem, our people before, and then the land of Israel, and the land of Jerusalem, is referring to the inhabitants. Sorry, is referring to the inhabitants. Is referring to where the inhabitants inhabit. It's referring to the habitation. Forgive me. To them that mourn in Zion is speaking of a people group. This is where the gospel's going after. Uh, and another reason you see in all these pestilences, plagues, they're going out. The Lord sent them out because the elect are being awoken. The elect of the nation of Israel. Because these are unnecessary things before the end can come. So I get one more scripture, then we'll hit back in Isaiah 61. Matthew 24 and 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Alright, so the gospel needs to go out before this system, this seclorum, this governed you know, rulership can go down. Because you best believe when the Messiah comes back there's not going to be a wicked man in rulership. Isaiah 61 verse 4 And they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the alien 
should be your plowmen and your vine dressers. Right, let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at some other translations here. Because the true understanding of this specific scripture here is what you have your vocabs coming against the truth about. And he's only focused on one West Israelites. Because you know, a lot of Israelites are uncomfortable, you know, ashamed of the gospel. But they are uncomfortable with the you know, quote unquote bitter truths of the scriptures. Whereas it said strangers and aliens. Now an alien just means foreign. That's why when you talk about a Martian, the idea that there's some extra terrestrials, that are some green green space people. Extra means you're know, out of or in fact let's let's get a a full full scope on it. Extra It says, outside, beyond, beyond the scope of, in addition to what is usual or expected. On the outside without except. Right, so why? Because it's outside earth, extraterrestrial. Extra, we just read. And terrestrial goes back to the Latin word T-E-R-R, T-E-R, double R-A, T-E-R-R-A, terror. You know, is to do with earth, a uh, territory. Right, so extraterrestrial just means outside of earth. So the angels would be extraterrestrial. There's no little green, you know, men running around. The angels, you know, Ezekiel, the first chapter, will tell you some information about the angels. So an, an alien means would mean another nation, a terrestrial nation. Not an extraterrestrial. So the strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the foreigner shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. Again, foreign, alien, those will be synonyms. Now let's see if we can find this one. B B E. This is one of my favourite ones. Because it says it plainly what these the nurses, scoffers, mockers would say. So B B E, Isaiah six one and five. And men from strange countries will be your herdsmen, and those who are not Israelites will be your plowmen and vine keepers. Right, that's what we catch persecution for saying. Not only that, but you know that is a thing that people come against, as if it's yeah we we invented this. And in this generation, we didn't write this down. We may have written it prior. But it says. Men from strange countries will be your herdsmen, and those who are not Israelites will be your plowmen and vine keepers. So what does that mean, vocab? Now you can't be ashamed of the gospel. So that's why I said, that's what the scriptures said. You know, if it's of men, it'll be overthrown. If it's of the Lord, it can't be overthrown. Because you can come against the doctrine all you want. But the Lord will have it established in the earth if it's the truth. So we'll sandwich it. We'll finish how we started. Acts 5 and 38 and 39. And I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. If it be the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. As happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. So I pray that's edifying. Shalom.